Welcome once again to the doghouse. My name is Karen and my co-star today is Honeybear. Today we're going to be discussing the general guidelines to the top 12 foods your dogs should not eat. Now this can be very controversial but before we get into that I want to add this disclaimer. I am not a vet. I am not qualified to give medical advice. And like people, all dogs are different with their own unique set of illnesses and situations. So if there's ever any questions, please always contact your vet. The guidelines we're going to talk about today come from Good Housekeeping, WebMD, and the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, also known as the ASPCA. Number one, xylitol. Xylitol isn't a food on its own, but it is a sweetener hidden in many food products such as baked goods, candies, and especially gum. Xylitol can cause your fur baby's blood sugar to drop and in a more serious cases can cause liver failure. Symptoms of consuming it include the dog being lethargic, vomiting, and having problems with coordination. The dog may eventually have seizures and liver failure that can happen within only a few, a few short days. So if you come home to find that your dog has gotten into a pack of sugar-free gum, candy, or other baked goods with xylitol in it, it's critical, very, very critical that you contact your vet immediately and find out what he or she would like for you to do. My honey bear is getting antsy, so I am gonna hand her off to my dog handler, Kinsley. Thank you. Uh -huh. Number two is avocados. While this food is very popular these days, it also has a very high fat content, which is not good for a dog's tummy, especially the smaller breeds who are susceptible to gastric disorders like a miniature poodle or a toy poodle. Even worse, if your dog gets a hold of an avocado that still has the pit intact, swallowing it could lead to an obstruction in your dog's airway or intestines which could lead to surgery and even death. Number three, and perhaps one of my biggest pet peeves is alcohol. All right, folks, let's get real here. While some may think it's cool to give their pet a bit of alcohol and watch them stumble across the floor, it's really pretty stupid. Animals should never ever consume alcohol or even foods that contain alcohol. Alcohol stresses an animal and it can cause your pet to vomit, have problems with coordination, they may experience difficulty breathing, have tremors, and in the worst case scenario, your pet could fall into a coma and die. If you come in and see that by accident your pet has consumed alcohol or for some reason someone may have given them alcohol, please contact your vet immediately or the Animal Poison Control Center. Please be responsible. Be responsible pet owners and never let anyone or yourself give your pet alcohol. Number four on the list of foods your dog should not eat is onions and garlic. Onions and garlic can do worse than make your pet's breath stink. These items in any form, whether they be cooked, raw, or powdered, can actually destroy your pet's red blood cells. The loss of red blood cells can cause anemia and such symptoms as weakness, vomiting, and trouble breathing. Although a rare small dose may not cause any harm, why take the chance? Number five, and what I consider to be a biggie, is chocolate 
and caffeine. While chocolate and caffeine seem to be a natural go-to for humans, it should not be given to your pet. These items contain methylxanthines, which are not friendly to dogs. If your dog ingests methylxanthines, they can experience vomiting, diarrhea, excessive thirst and urination, hyperactivity, abnormal heartbeat, tremors, seizures, and in the worst case, even death. Now, while a dropped M&M on the floor may not be detrimental to your dog, a half of a candy bar or a good portion of a cup of coffee just might be. So if you feel like your pet has ingested or has a chance of ingesting these products, please contact your vet and don't take a chance. Number six, and I bet most of you don't know this one. Can you guess it? Number six is grapes and raisins. Now, what could be so harmful about a little grape or a raisin? Well, for unknown reasons, grapes and raisins can lead to kidney failure in dogs. As little as two raisins could lead to hospitalization due to kidney problems, and without treatment, it could also lead to death. And remember, not all symptoms are immediate. So as always, if you feel your pet has consumed these products, please contact your vet. Okay, we're halfway through the list. We're up to number seven. Number seven is citrus. Citrus fruits may be great for humans. They have fantastic antioxidants and benefits, but when it comes to dogs, these foods should be avoided. Citrus fruits, including the stems, seeds, peels, and leaves, all contain varying amounts of citrus. Citrus can cause stomach irritation and possibly even central nervous system depression. While citrus may not be the worst or most harmful food for dogs, it could still be dangerous and should still be avoided. Number eight on the list of foods your dog should not eat are coconut and coconut oil. Now, I can already hear people who disagree with this one. I know many people who give their dogs coconut oil to help their skin and fur. Now, while coconut oil ingested in small amounts isn't likely to have adverse effects on your dog, the flesh and the milk of fresh coconut contains oils that can cause your dog to have an upset stomach, loose stools, and diarrhea. Coconut water for humans is high in potassium, and it is very good for humans, but it is not ideal for your pup. So if you want to include coconut products in your pet's diet, then do it with caution, or ask your vet if this is the best option for your pet. Number nine on the list are raw meats and eggs. This may also be a controversial topic, as I know raw food diets are becoming very popular for dogs. But keep in mind, raw meat and uncooked eggs can contain potentially harmful bacteria, such as salmonella and E. coli, which is harmful to both pets and people. Also, raw eggs contain an enzyme called avidine. Avidine inhibits the absorption of vitamin D called biotin, which can lead to problems with your dog's skin and coat. Number 10, macadamia nuts. Unfortunately, I can tell you firsthand how dangerous these nuts are to your fur babies. Once, many, many years ago, I owned a special toy poodle and her name was Ebony. A family member had sent me a box of not just macadamia nuts, but they were chocolate covered macadamia nuts, which is a double no-no for dogs. I left them high on the table, still boxed up, but when I returned home, I discovered Miss Ebony had gotten up on the table, which she had never done before, tore open the box and consumed the entire box. 
I was very, very blessed that I didn't lose my best friend that day. She was very ill for many days following that ordeal. Now we know that macadamia nuts are high in fat, which is an irritant for a dog's stomach. But these nuts are very, very toxic to canines, and we still don't know why. It is said that only two nuts per pound of body weight can lead to poisoning. With Ebony, it was touch and go for many days with extreme diarrhea, weakness, and almost like a, a drunken state. I thank the good Lord above that I didn't lose Ebony that day. I would have felt terrible if I would have lost her due to my carelessness. Number 11, milk and dairy. Many humans have trouble digesting milk and dairy because of the lactose content. The same goes for dogs and the problem is common. Dogs don't produce much of the enzyme called lactase that's responsible for breaking down the lactose in milk, which can lead to diarrhea and digestive upset. Number 12, and the last one on our list, for foods your dogs should not eat. This one is bacon. I know, I know, it's delicious. And who hasn't snuck a piece of bacon underneath the table to your fur baby? Well, we know that because bacon is high in fat content, it can lead to pancreatitis in dogs, which causes inflammation and the improper function of this organ. And remember, the pancreas not only produces the enzymes needed for food production, but it also uh, helps regulate insulin, which controls your dog's blood sugar levels. This concludes the top 12 foods your dogs should not eat. Of course, we know that the list doesn't end there, but we hope this video has helped shed some light on the problems that come, thank you, honey, with ingesting foods that are generally intended for humans. Once again, I'm not a vet, and my intent is not to give medical advice. That information should come from your dog's vet who knows your fur baby and what works best for it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please help us out so we can provide more dog videos that you may not find anywhere else. So please scroll down to the bottom of the screen if you haven't already and hit subscribe. Then hit the bell and the like button. We'd appreciate your feedback also, your comments and topics that you'd like for us to tell you about. So once again, please scroll down, subscribe, hit the bell, and the like button. Our goal is to provide you with new video content on every Friday. I'd like to thank you for joining us on this video of foods your dogs should not eat. I'd like to thank my highly decorated granddaughter for being my dog handler and for helping me direct this video. I absolutely could not do this without her. Also, I'd like to thank Honey Bear for being my co-star today. Yeah. I hope you will join us next time on The Dog House when we try to answer the question, why does my dog stink? Thank you for watching. Goodbye, everybody. What's the curl too much? Mm-hmm. <laughs>